What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 10 video. Now, today I, I wanna talk about something that you might not be aware of, but it's something that you actually do see from time to time on some teams that have actually gotten results. I don't know the specific results, but it's a thing now and you should be aware. We're talking about Trick Room Zapdos. Now, if you're unaware, uh, there is currently a set for Zapdos running around using power items to cut its speed in half, and this actually gives it a number of uh, fun things that it can do. But before we get into that, do me a favor if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily VGC content. And that's my comment question of the day. What restricted would you use next to Trick Room Zapdos? Let me know. Anyways, so what does Trick Room Zapdos do? It's actually pretty interesting. So Zapdos, if you look at it, um, has a pretty high speed stat at 100. It's actually one of the main draws that people have for it. Uh, essentially, the most common set right now is usually like a Focus Sash set with Close Combat, Brave Bird, or, you know, Dual Wing Beat if you're lame. Uh, Protect and some third move. It could either be like Taunt, Stomping Tantrum, Blaze Kick, or Quick Guard. Uh, but yeah, essentially it's a Defiant Pokemon that is able to counter Incineroar pretty effectively, and is actually just a really solid Pokemon overall, now that Thunderous can't Dynamax. So, Trick Room Zapdos takes this concept and attaches a Power Bracer to it to cut its speed in half and make it useful under Trick Room. You might be thinking, well, I mean, just how slow can Zapdos get? Well, Zapdos at minimum speed with a negative speed nature and zero speed IVs is actually going to be able to hit 94. Now, 94 divided by 2 is 47, which is the effect that the Power Bracer has on it, which makes it especially useful on Trick Room teams. And one of the, you know, really interesting use cases for this is that it's not uncommon for Amoongus to actually not run minimum speed, specifically to outspeed certain Pokemon like uh, Calyrex Ice, uh, which at minimum speed actually hits 49, and Amoongus, by running just a 31 speed IV in a non-speed uh, reducing nature, can hit 50, allowing for it to spore it uh, in a situation where a lot of Calyrex Ice players might be thinking they're safe under, you know, not Trick Room. So Galarian Zapdos is able to underspeed that specific version of Amoongus, and while it's pretty niche, it's actually still just pretty useful for that uh, one case, but uh, the broader use case for it would actually be in protecting these particular Trick Room Restricteds from some of their biggest counters. Now, I guess we can start off with Lunala, since that's the most popular uh, Trick Room being restricted at the moment. Lunala is especially weak to Incineroar, since Incineroar has the ability to snarl on it and absolutely wall out uh, its main stabs, being Moongeist Beam and sometimes Expanding Force. Uh, but what, what Lunala tends to do to work around this is run Meteor Beam and Wide Guard, because Meteor Beam does have the potential to one-shot certain Incineroar spreads at plus one with a Power Herb, uh, since it is a plus one super effective 120 base power rock type move coming off of a pretty powerful 137 special attack stat. So, you know, if Lunala gets a little bit of chip on it, it should be able to KO with the Moongeist Beam, or with the uh, Meteor Beam. However, that isn't always reliable. Uh, sometimes you miss your Meteor Beam, sometimes it's like, you know, you already used your Meteor Beam and the Incineroar is free to come in on a plus one uh, Moongeist Beam since it just bounces off it. And then you get snarled to death and have an absolutely horrible time. Well, most Incineroar, are never gonna underspeed Zapdos. In fact, I don't think even minimum speed Incineroar underspeed Zapdos. Let me see, brave. Yeah, no, it never does, because it doesn't hit 46. Uh, so what Zapdos can actually do is lead off next to a Pokemon like Lunala. And because of that, the Incineroar is essentially forced to make a decision there, right? So the Incineroar could risk getting one-shotted by a plus one uh, close combat from the Zapdos, uh, or you know, just switch out and be safe and not have to risk getting a KO on one of your most important Pokemon in your team uh, just to stop a single Trick Room. So what this actually does is it, it leads into the expectation of Incineroar players of, oh, I'm going to get one shot because it's going to outspeed me. And that allows you to essentially get off a free Trick Room at the threat of a close combat. And then even under that Trick Room, the Incineroar still isn't safe to come in and like Flare Blitz when you're at like minus one because you're still under speeding it. Uh, the, basically, it's, it's like a very solid Incineroar counter, and there are other Pokemon in the metagame that does counter hard under Trick Room, uh, but Lunala is one of the biggest benefactors of this Pokemon. Uh, and also, something to note is, a lot of people perceive Galarian Zapdos on paper, at the very least, as a pretty frail Pokemon, and that has to do with the set that it runs, which is typically Jolly 4 HP, but when you max out its HP, it's actually got bulk comparable to Incineroar, you know, barring the Intimidate. It's got 90-90-90. Uh, in its bulk, where Incineroar has 95, 90, 90. So 
it's actually able to eat a hit pretty well. Other Pokemon that benefit from this is Necrozma Dust Main, which Necrozma Dust Main is one of the prime examples of a restricted that gets hard countered by Incineroar. Uh, and that's mainly because, you know, both of its stabs, it gets walled out uh, on Incineroar. And even if it swords dances, like you're never going to one shot it with a Sunsteel Strike. So Incineroar is able to not only intimidate it by just switching in, uh, but parting shot on it, essentially making it so you can never quite get Necrozma off the ground until Incineroar is completely dealt with, which of course, the Galarian Zapdos helps out with quite a bit. And I think a Pokemon that's been picking up in usage that could see a decent amount of help from uh, Galarian Zapdos with Power Brace or any kind of power item could actually be Calyrex Ice. Now, this Calyrex Ice set has been running around for a couple of weeks now. Uh, you tend to see it next to Mimikyu as just Trick Room self-proc weakness policy with Shadow Sneak. However, it still is a Pokemon that doesn't like the existence of Incineroar, since Incineroar can switch in on a Glacial Lance, eat it pretty well, intimidate it, parting shot it out, and it's just not going to have a good time versus it. So once again, just having Galarian Zapdos next to it is a very solid uh, idea. Other Pokemon uh, that actually Galarian Zapdos can counter beyond Incineroar, uh, here are a few notable Trick Room Pokemon, and Volcarona is just an added bonus. Stakataka is a Pokemon that is very, very good right now. You could pretty much make an argument that it's effectively a second restricted uh, with its beast boost ability. The fact that even if you intimidate it, if it's running a defense boosting set, um, it can go ahead and just completely destroy you with body press since it has a massive defense stat of 211 that only gets boosted every time it gets a KO. Uh, it's able to go for Gyro Ball to counter things like uh, Xerneas and other fairy types, uh, and it's able to click Rock Slide under Trick Room to just be a general nuisance. Now, while Xerneas obviously is going to benefit more from, you know, a faster Zapdos since, you know, <laughs> it, it's not often you want to click Trick Room on a Xerneas team. Um, I would say that Zapdos is able to benefit other Pokemon that just don't like Stack Attack. I would say Calyrex Ice, despite it having access to moves that could beat Stack Attack in one hit if you got off to like plus one, it still doesn't like the existence of it because Body Press can do a decent amount of damage. Gyro Ball, while these two are both very slow Pokemon, the speed difference is still enough where it's a considerable amount of damage. Uh, so Zapdos being able to switch in on a, a Rock Slide pretty comfortably because of its high bulk with the max HP stat and decent defenses uh, is able to deal with it pretty well. And uh, a few other Pokemon, uh, I guess Volcarona. Of, of course, Volcarona gets countered even harder by fast Zapdos since a fast Bray Bird is likely going to outspeed the bulkier sets that you tend to see running around right now. It still doesn't like the existence of slow Zapdos since it's so bulky and under Trick Room where they might think, oh yeah, I can underspeed this and go for a Heat Wave, you can kind of catch him off guard. Araquanid is something that we've seen a bit of usage on Trick Room teams right now. Um, Araquanid, while it's able to underspeed Zapdos, once again, while it does have pretty powerful attacks with Liquidation, uh, Mystic Water, and uh, Water Bubble attached onto that, uh, it isn't going to be able to one-shot that Zapdos and you can get it back with the Brave Bird. It would be a trade, but it's still, you know, something to consider. And I think one of the coolest use cases for this thing is actually going to be as a Porygon 2 counter. Where there's Porygon 2, there's likely to be an Incineroar to set up that Trick Room next to it, since Fake Out plus Trick Room is such a busted combo. Uh, so, a lot of Porygon 2, while they are running pretty physically defensive sets, uh, even if they decide to go with Bolt Beam coverage, both of those being able to deal super effective to Zapdos, um, if they're running zero speed relaxed or zero speed any kind of negative speed boosting nature, uh, you're still going to be able to underspeed them since they only hit 58. And if you actually run a calc here, a plus one Thunderbolt, let's say they got that uh, boost off, is only going to be dealing 57 to 69% to Galarian Zapdos at max HP. And if you got that plus one from the Incineroar, your close combat has a pretty solid chance of one-shotting uh, a Porygon 2. So yeah. Uh, I figured I would just make like a quick little informative video as I would I would consider this a little bit of filler content because I do have some stuff to do today. But uh, this is a Pokemon that, you know, I've used personally on uh, a version of my Necrozma team. I have used it on the Lunala team. I have used it on the Calyrex Ice team that I've tested in private. Uh, but also me and Bryce Manby actually used it on the recent Groudon team, which Groudon is another Pokemon. While it is a ground type that could one shot Incineroar, doesn't like the effect. Uh, that it can just switch in on it and go for Intimidate. So, uh, yeah, we've used it to some pretty decent success. I know Joe's been telling me about it, and I know that there are a few um, Japanese and Korean teams running around uh, using it right now. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about Galarian Zapdos running a speed-reducing item in the comments section down below. And if you guys enjoyed, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.